ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to youtube.com slash cooksucks. I'm Andy, aka Cooksucks. I'm gonna show you how I build my IRL streaming backpack with all the parts that I got. It's not that much different from a gun run backpack. The only thing is there's a couple little uh, hacks and slashes, tips and tricks that I do for my own setup. You don't have to go out and buy a pre-built backpack. You could do your own thing. Save some money, make your own backpack. Now the backpack that I'm doing, you, you could have two options. One option is with the classic Live View, Live View Solo, or you can use Bella Box, which is a really up and coming SRT driven solution to your problems. But the thing is, uh, I don't have a Bella box to speak from personal experience. We'll be building one later and then using it, uh, whatever. Before we start anything, this build is my Live View build from my backpack. If you guys don't know what a Live View Solo is, this is a device that lets you connect any HDMI source Okay, like this camera, this action camera, a DSLR camera, or a PlayStation 5. Anything that connects through an HDMI signal can come into here. And once you connect that to here, what this does, if you have a paid LRT service, which is $45 a month, you can bond up to four different internet connections into one signal. So, for example, if you want to stream in bump nowhere you might not have the greatest signal but if you have four different modems with four weak signals this thing lets you bond those four signals into one stronger signal instead of just having one Verizon SIM card and if you're in an area that doesn't let you use Verizon then you're out of luck right but at least you have different options because you have different SIM cards. Anyways, it takes that signal and it sends it to whatever destination you want. You can send it to YouTube, Twitch, you can send it to Facebook, you can send it to your own RTMP server. This thing does that. If you want a solid 1080p, 60 frames per second feed, you need about like 6,000 kilobit per second. If you want that same for SRT, it's about half. You can stream in places that have lower data. This thing, you could just plug in the camera and then the modems, and then boom, you can you can have batteries and whatever, stream for 11 hours with my setup. If you have a Bella box, you need to have a cam link, you need to have this, you need to have that. So this Live View Solo, this is about $1,000. This is where your biggest chunk of change is gonna go. Are you gonna spend $1,000 to buy this or a cell phone and stream with a cell phone like other IRL streamers? So yes, when you buy this, if you're gonna use this to its full potential, you have to spend $45 a month to use LRT. <laughs> That's one of the hidden costs. This thing also, let me tell you, it is rugged. This thing has traveled with me more than 12 different countries. Okay, this is my second one, my first one broke. After two and a half years of using this for over, I don't know how many hours, this thing finally needs replacing. So I'll, I'm gonna be transparent and honest with you. My screen, it's got burn-in issues. Also, we found out that uh, my USB ports right here, they're loose. It does Wi-Fi, two USB modems, and also one ethernet modem right there. So that's why you could do four connections. Throw it across the room. I'm gonna wait till the replacement comes in, Joey. Don't worry. Anyways, if you look at those gun run backpacks, a lot of them are just like those Manfrotto camera bags, which is perfectly fine. This is my, I'm gonna replace it. But as you can see, it has gone through a lot of uh, wear and tear. I mean, there's, holes everywhere. My tip is if you're gonna put your live view somewhere, put it somewhere where there's ventilation, okay? So the more ventilation, the better because these things overheat a lot. So I put it in my little side pouch right here. I had to cut these holes here so that the fan blows out the air. These holes, I made them for the cables to route through into my backpack, so. If you're not gonna use a Manfrotto bag, most times you need to get yourself one of these. I don't know what it is. This is a cocoon grid. Let's say you want to pack a light, but it's really for your batteries and your freaking modems. You need something like this. Otherwise, all your stuff is just going to be floating around in your backpack. Once you got a live view in there, you need something to power this up. This right here is my battery. You want me to show you what batteries we used to use? Actually, this was the old recommended battery because before this battery, the batteries that powered up backpacks were way bigger. This thing, at the time, 50,000 milliamps. It's got four different USB ports, uh, different power ports. This thing can last you 
10, 12 hours of stream. But the benefit is this thing also has a barrel hose right here to power up the live view. And this thing weighs like three pounds. I know three pounds doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're putting it into a backpack, this is fucking heavy. Even though it lasts a long time, you can take this on a domestic flight, but you can't take this on an international flight. This is a 25,000 milliamp, is this a 25? 25,600 milliamp battery that has two USB ports, a USB-C and a barrel, right? So this, I bought this because this powers the live view. Two of these does more battery power than this. It's about the same weight, similar weight, but I don't have to carry two with me at the same time. I just switch. This thing will last me five hours. The reason why we use the heavy ones and this one is because of the barrel power. Remember, the live view uses barrel to barrel power. That's how you power the live view. Without this, the live view only lasts for one hour. I have found, I, I didn't personally find this. This was uh, recommended to me by Esco. Actually, Esco from EXPC. Esco has given me a round barrel Do to USB-C. So the problem with the, this barrel to barrel, these cables suck, okay? So sometimes if it's moving around, it doesn't charge. And you also need this to use these old batteries. But with the USB-C cable, boom, you plug this in to the live view, and then you can use this for more batteries. But I wanna tell you the problem with this specific cable. You can only use some batteries. It has to be strong enough of an output to power up your live view. The biggest complaint that I have about my setup is how heavy my bag is. Yeah, in the beginning, when you're picking it up, you're like, oh, it's not that bad. But when you're carrying it all day, every day, especially when all the weight is on your shoulder straps, f***ing annoying. So anyways, take this, and then I just route it through my holes. <laughs> Boom, so now my live view is powered up and now I can power up the rest of my Next thing I need, modems. This is probably one of the best ethernet modems that you can get. It's a AT&T Netgear Nighthawk modem. You can buy these on eBay. It's kind of expensive and it's kind of old technology. Okay, this is like 250 bucks, I think. But there's a newer one, like a, I think it's called the M1 or M5 that has more bands. Before I get too into it, you have to understand, not every modem works in every country. It doesn't matter what SIM card you put in. Modems are region locked, kind of. So this is a North American one, right? You can buy an Australian one, you could buy a Hong Kong one, you can buy a European one, and they are really specific for those regions. But the only benefit to these modems is that they use the ethernet port, meaning you have that full fourth connection. And I'm gonna show you guys some fucking hacks that I discovered, okay? And boom. Plugged in. Now the problem, again, with these modems, if you're doing ethernet cable, I mean, it's not being charged. So if it was connected USB to USB, this thing will be charging throughout the day, right? I hate this modem, but to a lot of people, it's their only option. I'm gonna tell you how it's not your only option anymore. I found this actually when I was in, in Europe. I found one of these guys. This is a USB-C to ethernet adapter. I didn't know this existed. And I didn't know this actually worked because I thought it was one way. So like I said, my USB port is broken. And when I was in Europe, I only had these three modems, these were all just USB. So one of these modems I couldn't use anymore, right? So I was only down to two. So I, I was like, is there a way I can use my ethernet cable? So this thing, plug into the ethernet port and then boom, put this into my modem. I was like, is this gonna work? Turns out this works. If you don't have a Nighthawk and you only have four modems like this, you don't need to buy one. I'm using these in Seagulls, which for right now are the best USB modems out there, kind of. This is a Sprint in Seagull 8000. This is a Verizon in Seagull 8800. This is the older model. The reason why I say these are better than these modems is because this thing has more access to different bands, international bands, than this one. So there's no European version, there's no Asia version, there's no Australia version. It's just this. Even though I said that these are the best, I'll tell you what's better. It's this guy. 
This is the Insego 2000 from T-Mobile. Same company, but better. More bands, way more bands, but more expensive. The good thing about this is this is a 5G modem. Also, this thing, uh, you can power up through a USB-C anyway, so boom. Plug this in, plug into the battery like this, and it's charging. It's all, it's all tethered in here. Next, you got your live view, you got your modems, you got your battery. What do you need? Camera. <laughs> Everybody uses these cameras. Sony action camera. One downside to this camera, everybody stream that uses this looks exactly the same. You can change that. You don't need this camera. You can use a GoPro. You can use a PlayStation 5. The whole point is, is because it's a good quality camera with a built-in stabilizer and a nice resolution and it connects into an HDMI port. By the way, all links of these gears down below. Something that isn't mentioned on the Gun Run website is the selfie stick part, right? So it's this uh, Benro stick, it's like 12 bucks. It's not bad. Jake and Big loves this one. Personally, I don't think it's the greatest because this part right here, this cable threading here, depending on what you put on there, the threads wear out really fast. These things break, but yes, you could just buy another one, 12 bucks. You can buy another one, it's easy. I use this Ulanzi one, but it, it doesn't, this is as tall as it goes. They, they screw on like this, right? I will say, for a long time, I was looking for something called a quick release. So, instead of uh, taking this, putting it on, screwing it in, there is, boom. All you need to do, pop it in, there you go. You don't have to screw anything on, easy, boom. Why do you need to switch it? This is a shoulder mount, boom, okay? What if I, I don't want to use myself like this and I want to switch to my cell phone? Boom, put it on my cell phone holder. Ha! Ah, boom, fast, fast, switch, switch, switch. Only problem is you gotta buy them all separately, so that's like 12 bucks each. Let's finish building this backpack. This thing, this is the uh, shoulder mount. So just to give you an idea, this is what the inside of my backpack looks like. The modems, this, my third Wi-Fi modem, I just put in here. This is basically it. This backpack's basically done. This is without the second battery and the four t-shirts. One final thing, besides the backpack and the modems and all that shit, you need a speaker for all these alerts. If you're gonna get paid, you wanna have these alerts. Now these alerts, I mean, this, these, you could use any Bluetooth speaker. This is a JBL Clip 4. Personally, I like it a lot. Got a lot of bass boost to it. My TTS and music is very obnoxious. This is perfect for that. Look at this, live view. Turned on, camera's working. Right now, two of the modems are working. The third one, I think, just takes a while to, it takes a while, so. Let's go live, connecting, connecting, let's go. Now that you have this all set up, you got your modems bonding all the data. It's gotta stream somewhere. You can stream this directly to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, whatever you want. Or you could send it to something like a cloud server. You can host your own on your computer. There, there's something called No Albs. It's a script. You can install it, control it through TeamViewer, your OBS, your own thing by yourself. It's free or full disclosure. I use IRL Toolkit. I think it's the best. There's other options out there. I don't need to promote them because they don't do shit for me. This was my stream phone when I was in Korea. It's a Galaxy S21 or S20 Ultra. This phone sucks. It's Korean. It's got the shitty chipset in it. This, this phone sucks. You don't need such an expensive phone for a chat phone. I used to use a Xiaomi Redmi. It was like a $70 phone. Let me move this chat over to this new stick. There you go. This is my, this is my thing. This is what I carry with me all day. Every day. So let's switch over. He switched. Sweet! My backpack is built, baby! My backpack is built! So, what is the rest of this shit that I'm carrying around? Yeah, I just got extra cables. In case some other cables are broken, you need to switch them out. Blah, blah, blah. Cable, 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 cable. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is how you make 
the Cook Sucks version of the IRL backpack. It's essentially a gun run backpack. You don't need to buy the same parts that I'm using. You don't need to do that. Everything you can change for yourself. Do you want to drop $2,000, $3,000 to a company who's gonna make it for you? Yes, you could do that and save yourself a lot of time. Or if you just spend 30 minutes on Amazon.com using my affiliate links, because I get a little commish every sale, if you spend 30 minutes and order that stuff off the internet, you can get it in a couple days with Amazon Prime. If you go here down below, hey look, you wanna tip me? Push this button, it gives you a link to send me some money. This right here, streaming gear, okay? Click on this link, IRL streaming gear, boom. JBL, Ulanzi, modem, modem, modem. I have the links to all this shit. Mask, okay, you don't need all this stuff. Microphone, wet wipes, okay, preparation eight. Do you have anything you'd like to add, sir? Hello? Anybody? Okay, okay, never mind. Yes, 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 I have a microphone. <clears throat> uh, I used to carry this around actually with me a lot, but I, I don't want to add more weight, so sometimes I'll pull that out.